Oh, and the battle is beginning. CB's not back. I guess I shall take the honors and looking at everyone's cars and units. Why? Right. Let me take a sip of the best beer in the world. Grolsch, made in twins, not an ad. Seeing a lot of blue, of course, as to respect. And now switching it up. All right, uh, on the Definity side, we see some moles. Three pieces of those, about five, five short swords to break the walls, and two glaives actually. Three muskets. All right, interesting. On the defense, we have. All right, no back this time. That is interesting. <laughs> Got about five, six short swords, two muskets, two dual blades. All right, and two pikes. Interesting lineup. CB, what can you tell about units? Yeah, so for the units, uh, looks like we got the flamers again on both sides, obviously. Uh, also the Sicalian uh, and the Tertios on the Finity. They definitely like those. Uh, they're bringing way more Tertios than uh, than our uh, than Argonautas are. So that is interesting. I hope that Gumod is still going to get some units because he doesn't have any right now. We'll have to find out. Indeed. Oh, he is getting them for the There we go. The yeah, now. just in time. He must be one <laughs> crushing. Yeah, so good mix of Fort Russia and Pikes. We're seeing a banner unit as well on the side of our Argonautas there. That is interesting. I wonder what they want to reset with that. Most likely some of the, the calf for, for the Reapers. Some citadels. Cit we are not seeing as many citadels as we maybe expected to see since last season. Do you have the units? Uh, ball units, the Zikalians. Starting with those right away. Okay, interesting play. Yep, yeah, Mark, uh, we do need to set the timer commands. And any commands actually, um, so we'll definitely have to get that done for this uh, Discord. It's just here to like, cast the games that haven't found any caster yet, so just good to get the old games covered. Make sure that there is at least a VOD available. But for now, we're good to go. We'll make sure everything is set up for next week if we have to use this channel again. But here we go, guys. It is the last game of the day. Divinity versus Argonautas. Argonautas only won the attack in the first game, and they are now defending. Divinity on the blue attacking. And we're ready to fight. Let's see where both teams want to go with this game. They're getting on the RT. Checking the runes. No runes. They're all good to go. Artillery being fired, so let's see if. Definitely can take care of that quickly. No Sally, it looks like. The Archie game, always lovely to watch. Just mm -hmm. zoom out and see the balls flying. Yep, it is a bit of firework there. Not as loud as you would normally expect, maybe. And there goes one camera. Two cans of the gate down, one on the right side as well. The blisters are on the left, still up there. That can be annoying. We yeah. saw an Bananas get sniped by that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true, true. Yeah, so Definity's trying to destroy the RT also with the muskets. Doesn't look like they intend to climb up the walls heavily, like we saw Argonautas try to do. Yes, uh, one and a half short short, just uh, trying to get the last cannon, uh, and it's down already. Yeah, there is a lot of RT still up on the left side. The cannon's definitely oh, yeah, still indeed. shooting. The tower is really close, the Longsword was able to keep his unit alive. I wonder if they will jump down there. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Right oh, arrow is going man. to reach. Yeah, oh, there we go. Oh, the pike's going down. Is he going to make it? Is he going to save the unit? That's going to be a free kill there. 
Up, uh, Probably. Yeah. Oh, there everybody goes. Oh, and but the tower oh, made it, so too bad. Yeah, the tower good made job. it. Good That's job by uh, Natalia Nevarovona. Uh, all towers landed, Morning. so we'll have to see where they go. Uh, Divinity actually ready for this. Uh, they're already on the A point. As uh, Argonauts was still down on the on the ground there, on the left side. Obviously A giving a wave, gives it away for free. Don't want to get trapped. Yeah, exactly. And lose a lot of units that way. Ooh, nice musket ball on the medal. And the Ultra Braccio is down there. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, Divinity seem to have a very clear plan here. Uh, already yep. getting ready for the musket, so that was an unfortunate bomb against the wall. They know what they want. Oh. Looks like it, yeah. Hey, why are they going outside? Going in the gate. Why? Hmm. Yeah, let's see what's in Probably there. Probably were uh, expecting cap or something. Yeah, Modal for Torachio already at the gate. Uh, they are being... Bombed. Bombed, <laughs> literally, yeah. yeah. Quite heavily, actually, as well. Uh, we see some Outriders. We used to see so many Outriders, but they're, they've fallen out of favor quite a bit uh, lately. Like, one unit is enough in one match. Okay. Infinity. Looks like they still want to take their time. There is plenty of time. 10 minutes left on the clock. Just they to might be using up. the gate to protect their units from the muskets. Yeah, yeah, they're definitely hiding the units there. Let's see what's in there. And just the one for the Rachio and the Modal for now. Definity making a bit of a spread on the left and the right. It's not sure where they are headed yet. Right, let's take a quick look at the units now that we've got time. Uh, on Definity we have Modal, Reaper, Modal, Reaper, Zekalin and Flamer, one unit of Tercios, and also the Jeffelin. So they do have quite a bit of good range to take the time and poke. And we got two units of Kev on the Argonauta side, and also the Flamer and the Tercio there, along with a lot of Modal. And so also the Jeffelin. No dual blades has Jeffelins. Yeah. Uh, that this makes for a nice combination. Look at this group up. <laughs> yeah, they are really taking a sweet time trying to take up some units. But what, what are they gonna do? Like, yeah, they're probably going to, like they're not going to kill any units with just two muskets or three muskets strong bombs. But oh no, um, just waiting. It seems it, it's just going to weaken them. Maybe you're trying to see if they can lure them away create some kind of opening but they're yeah. definitely not sure where they want to go and they've given up so much space now that Argonauts can actually get up back on the wall and see where they are headed so it makes it a bit easier they they're rotating to the left now and Argonauts is rotating with them as well slowly there we go Jefflins throw the Jefflins Sicalium Militia throw yeah that's Okay. And I guess not the best. <laughs> not the worst. Oh. Exactly. More bombs being thrown. Definitely doing some good poke damage there. Their show is also firing. And yeah, those Jeffins might be going down, but uh, that's already two Sicalian Mitchell throws. Not used in the in the big fight on the blobs. Yeah, Argon Argonautas are higher units really really well so far. Definitely switching sides, I believe. Yeah, yeah, they're going to switch again. There's already three Sikali in shut down. And the Jeffelins on, uh, on Argonauta's side, they've lost half of those. But other than that, uh, they haven't taken any real casualties. Probably one and a half Medao or something. <laughs> yeah, probably. So teams are back to rotating to the right side of the of the map. This is the thing, on, on most maps you actually have like an inside track and an outside track basically, but on, on this it's it's very equal one except that track. you have to go down. Yeah, it's just one big one big lane. The but in the end the attacks have to go down. They'll have to do, go here, otherwise yeah. they'll run out of time. Like yeah, they have to they do need something. to go at some point for sure. 
Celadars waiting at the corner. Same way. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. There is the attack. Let's go. All right, front line against front line. In blue Imperial Pike advance going. In blue, red Imperial Pike going from the right side as well. Celadars getting in. Where are the flamers? We're waiting for the flamers. The Kali mission. There Throwing are the flamers. Nice. Flamer. That is really strong flamers here. And counter flames as well. Yep. There we go. The, the Russians are a bit too far up on the stairs, I think. They're not doing too much. Anything, anything but it does actually, get yeah. clean on the blue side. But they're holding. They are really holding nice. for now, yeah. Most flamers seem to be dead by now. Uh, more red heroes alive than blue ones, that's for sure. But they are slowly pushing down. There are still a pair of shoot walls standing. But here One come the Citadars. Yeah, here come the Citadars and the Modal. It's getting cleaned up. Argonaut is already uh, retreat the now. There is the calf. Yep. But now we can already see Argonautus coming back through the gate. What do they bring? It is half sergeants, but there is cataphracts. They are going to clean those out. Ouch! That was too soon. They should have looked up better on Argonautus' side. That was a free unit, free kills. Who's too quickly on the trigger finger? And now it's only six minutes left on the clock, and Divinity took a big hit there, losing almost double of what Argonautus lost. That was yeah, fairly... Yeah, from gate with the cataphracts. Yeah, that was well done. Alice Goss and Armagus, alright. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, so we can see both teams switching out their units now. We'll have to see where they go. There is definitely a bit more calf out, but I wonder if Infinity can get through the gate with this calf. Uh, there's, there's already a model being set up, Reapers at the gate. Do they go back up? Yeah, they do. Alright, so they do get back up on the walls. Not brute forcing through the gate. Alright. Yeah. Something else. So for the next fight, I hope for Divinity that they can find more of an opening. They took a long time, right, to poke and poke and poke. But in the end, they were forced to fight in a small corner and they weren't able to even get out of it. By some uh, cataphracts. Yeah, totally. So they've got two units of cat outside waiting. That is armiers and cataphracts. Alright, they're getting ready. They're, it seems like they're quicker now to go down. It's four minutes left. Real spearmen ready on the red side. Citadel's ready as well. We hear some Zikalian turn. Pike defense already going on the blue. There we go. Reapers on the red going in. Outright standing ready. More outside ready as well. Modal tears to the back. The Modal are guarding the gate so the Cap won't be able to get in. This is basically 15 for v, v, v 13 or something. Oh, look at this fight. Lots of flames are going down on both sides, but the red side is definitely looking to be stronger. Outright is doing a lot of damage. Same for the Zakali in there on the back. And the TR shows are just cleaning up. Just cleaning up? It's like nothing. Yeah, this is. So this is not looking good for Divinity. They are going down. Deal blades on the back, cleaning it up. There we go, one more. Nice, well done, Razia. He's picking up the kills, being dragged away though. Oh, good step on the horse. Five. Are you getting on a horse? Yeah, it's a fiver. Three minute thirty on the clock. Five hundred and eighty units left for Divinity. Nine hundred and eighty left for Argonautis. Argonautis oh, are looking off. very, very strong in this game. Can Divinity pull it off to win this, however? Can they? Yeah, what would they need to do? Like, we could see it looking yeah. for Team and Pell. Yeah, they, they were both quick to, like, come back after after they took a loss, but it looks like it's Divinity... taking the sweet time. Yeah, exactly. It, it, it's he got three minutes, come on! Okay, <laughs> <laughs> they got to rest something, but it's, it's, it's looking very, very hard for them. The gate is always on lockdown for Tobracha and Modau. That's the standard setup that the Ronaldos have there. Uh, Divinity are no going more. to the left side now. They're hard rotating to the left, but that is being sc being being like being scouted by uh, by the dual blade once again. That is Razia or Olofinoto. They're both scouting it out all the time. Oh, Divinity nice win with the outriders. Yeah, so Divinity again they're trying to set up on top of the stairs, making sure that they're grouped up. But it's they need to start going. It's only two minutes. They need to push hard now and see if they can get to the B point. Here we go. This will be their final push. 
Strash is ready on both sides. Strash is on top, clearly favored against the ones at the bottom here, but can I get down? Right, let's see. Odao being raised. Here comes the cap. And the counterfract charge. Oh. Oh. Pikes hit up those. Ooh. They are. Alright. And it looks like uh, the Finti's definitely getting some ground here. They've finally been able to get inside the city. They're cleaning it up. Muskets, come on. But here come the reinforcements from the Finity. They've still got so many units left. They they should be able to do this. We see Iron Caps actually charging in from the front. Where's the units at the back? There we go. Cataphracts in the back being caught up by the Cataphracts. That's good. Ooh. Should have seen those coming. Yeah, they saw them coming. They got the Palace Guards raised, but that was just not enough. They stopped them for a moment but didn't kill them. It's one minute on the clock. Definitely, definitely slowly winning this fight. They're getting back some ground, but it doesn't look like they're able to get to the B point. It's just taking them too long. The Argonauts have got so many units left to just plug and play with. More Modal coming in. They're finally cleaning it up here. Definity. Have they got anything left? Can they send anyone to the B point? It's only eight heroes left alive. Argonaut is. They are wiping the floor right now with the Finity. squad coming in. Yep. Now one unit on Cav on B, but there we go. don't have enough time to cap it at all. They are on the B point now, but it might just not be enough. There goes the Armigers. Against more Armigers, but that is not going to be enough for yeah. Flavius B. Nope. Well done, getting on the B point, but it, this is all been Argonauts game from the start. Very different from the game that we saw before, which was quite close for Definity, but this one, very, very confident win from Argonauts French team. Picking up their first match win actually of the season. Almost already left the battle, who's left the battle? This one is over. GG well Argonauts. Well played by Argonauts. Yep. Really well done. Very convincing game there at the end. Nice, good job on the defense. That was that was really good. Uh, Suliang there is the MVP. On the other side we got Tuga MVP with 72 unit kills on the glaive. Um, not that many unit kills if you could say clearly. I mean we did have a bit of a slow start of course. So quite a few units left at the end I guess. Um, but definitely a very very good play there by, uh, by the Arcanautas. Let's see, Denon Trucks at the bottom, one of the team captains. And the dual blades, Razia and Olive the Note, they were uh, scouting and um, catching so many of the rotations from uh, from Definity. And oh, we can yeah. see in the post battle They're analysis okay. that uh, the, uh, the Argonauts were just winning every single fight. They were all almost doubling the, the units that they were yep. beating, they except were for the last fight. It out. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that was uh, a good fight, very convincing. So, one -sided. it is quite one-sided in the end. Uh, for, first game was pretty close, so yeah, we, saw, we saw some really good things from Affinity. They definitely fought really well in the first mm -hmm. game. Second game, they were just not able to create openings, despite clearly having a, a game plan with the, with the poking. But they weren't able to, to capitalize on it. Uh, let's see what they do 